Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'll be covering how to use the Elementor Pro price list widget. So before we dive in, I just wanted to say that if you haven't already picked up Elementor Pro, I highly recommend it. And if you want to support my channel, you can get it at WPWithTom.com slash Elementor. I also wanted to mention that I'll be covering every single one of the Elementor Pro elements in videos and making a big playlist showing how to use each of them. So be sure to subscribe for more videos. And with that out of the way, let's dive into the video. So the pricing list element gives us an easy way to add a list of prices to our site. This is perfect for someone who doesn't really want to use pricing tables, but it would be great for something like a menu on a restaurant, for example. And that's what I'm going to cover in this example here. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to scroll down on this mock website here. And I think that this area right here would be a good place to add a widget like this at. So I'm going to then just type price list over here. If I start typing price, it comes up and I can just drag it and drop it right into this area. So right here we have our price list with prices on the right side. So these are the item titles, the description of the item, and then the prices. So it's pretty bland right here. I also just wanted to show you that you can duplicate these if you want to have more just by clicking that. And you can delete them right here by clicking the X on the left side here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go in here and add an image to a few of these. So I'm going to add a pizza image here. And down on the second one, I'm going to go and click plus here. And then I'm going to then get a salad here. And down on this one, I'll just hit plus and I'll add soup. So there's three different images that we put in the widget right here. So it's starting to look a little bit more like a nice price list here just with those changes. So some things that we can do within the items is we can change the price right here. So it says $20 over here right now. We can just make, make this say $15 for this pizza. And then you can also change the description. So let's just say we wanted to call it pizza. And we can do the same for this one down here. We'll just make it say salad. And if we go down to the next one from here, we can go and make this one, I don't know, let's go with $10 for a soup and I'll make soup the title. So right below that, you can see that there's this lorem ipsum text and that is where you'd add a description. And you also have the option to add a link for each of these. So maybe you want to link to your soup menu where you have a different variety of soups that you can offer people or salads or pizzas for that matter. So that is where you could add these to here and give somebody a link right to that direct area, maybe with an anchor link or something like that. So if we go over to where it says style, we can then see that we have title and price, color and typography. So let's just make this black. You can see it's blue right now. Now it's black. I think it looks a lot better. It pops a little more. You can also go and change the font family. So let's just go with this one right here and we'll make it a little larger if you want to make it stand out a little bit. I'll go with 25 in this case. And you can also change weight, transform style, decoration. You can make an italic underline. There's a lot of options within typography. Down on description, it's this light gray right now. I want to make it a little bit darker gray, so I'll just do that. And I'll change the typography to make it a little larger as well. Maybe I'll make it 20 in this case. So there's where your description of the item would be. And if you want to, you can change the weight. So if we see when we change the weight, this is for our separator. So it's dotted right now. We change the weight, it gets much larger. You can also choose to have none if you don't want any weight, if you want solid dotted, dashed, or we have double down here. I like solid or maybe dashed in this case, I think looks fine, but I'm going to make it a two for the weight. So it's not too crazy. And then down here we have spacing. So right here, it's going to reduce the space between where the end of the word is. So right here between soup and the dashes and the dollar sign and the dashes, you can see that it gets closer or further apart, depending on where you want to put that. I'll just leave it at 25. I think 2025 20, looks pretty good in this case. Again, you don't even have to have these dashes if you don't want. If we go down here to where it says image, we have options to change the image size. Right now they're 150 by 150. We can make it larger like 300 if we want. I'm going to leave it as is for that. If you get bigger, it gets a little too big, I think, for a menu for a site like this. I think 300 by 300 is fine, or even the thumbnails, depending on how many images you have on your site. But I think if you're trying to entice people to buy food, in this case, you probably want the image big enough that they can clearly see what it is. So I'm going to leave it as 300 by 300. 
and next I'll go down to item and here you can change where your text is aligned to so right now it's at the top if you want it you can put it in the middle you can also put it at the bottom I think any of these really look fine but I'm just going to leave it as middle for this example and I'll go over it and just click update so another thing I wanted to show you is if you wanted to add more items to the right side of this for example you can go and right click right here add new column and what you can do is you can then right click copy and then just paste it over here and now you have more items so that is how you would be able to add these to your current menu here and then if you wanted to you can go and click on these and change the text you can change what the image is so let's just say you wanted to add different images like this you could easily just go and change it so right now it says pizza for this I'll just call this toast even though it's avocado toast and then here this one salad I can go and change the image for salad and make it pancakes and then you can also go and change soup I'm gonna go and change soup and just make this one a hamburger so I'll just put burger here and you get the idea you can see that there's a lot of options that you can do with this I'll click update again in this kind of scenario I think it might even look a little bit better if we actually had the images as 150 by 150 I think it might look a little bit better on this kind of menu so let's go to image over here and we'll make this one 150 by 150 as well so you can see and you can play around with it and find what works for you in terms of this price list either way there's a lot of little options that we have built into this feature and I really hope that you enjoyed this video on the Elementor Pro price list widget if you did enjoy it, please consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel for more Elementor and WordPress tutorials. Thanks for viewing and have a wonderful day.